Okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, so today I would like to explain to you the how to plot LLE graph uh, for your technical lab report. Uh, so uh, if you can see from your uh, lab report, so they are given some information. So for example, uh, there are binodial composition for acid water, uh, toluene water system. So actually they are plotting in this triangle graph. Okay, uh, so other than that, uh, there will be Thailand compositions. Um, Thailand compositions, so there will be two table here. So actually this Thailand is, you want to draw this uh, line, this line of graph. Okay, so you want to uh, draw this line on your uh, graph. So you require this uh, data. So uh, next is the data for your uh, compositions of your final refinate. Uh, sorry, so final refinate and also your final extract. So from here you always you already have your A and also uh, A for your extract and also your refinate. So the first step is uh, I'm asking you to come up with the composition for each of the stream. So we have, uh, this is the stream for liquid, liquid extraction. So you need to uh, draw the process flow diagram here first. So we have here the inlet stream, which is the stream for your um, compositions of mixtures of liquid. For, for example, here we have the compositions of A and B, uh, 0.4 and 0.6. Okay, for another inlet stream is we have the solvent stream composition. Uh, it is actually, uh, it is always, the pure solvent, so there will be no A and B, so you have your um, C composition. So that's mean if you have the composition in A and C terms, so you have 0 and 1. So here I'll not see you have 0 0.4 and 0 if I'm taking A and C. So for liquid liquid extraction, actually we always represent our composition uh, by um, for example, 0 L0 must be 0 0.4, 0 0.C and 0, uh, 0. So you can make simplify is like the, uh, this. For, for example, uh, you need to uh, pro, uh, put all this information. So we have, uh, okay, from this uh, figure, we also have the exit stream. So V1 and also uh, this is a stream is actually your extract. Extract come from your solvent. Uh, stream. Okay, so as right, that means A is uh, many here. Okay, for your refinate, your L1 is A is less as, co as compared to your as right. So this is the single stage uh, stage for the liquid liquid extraction. So we also have the multiple stage liquid liquid extraction. So the representative only the uh, the notation used for um, multiple stage we uh, put an n. So this is how they calculate how uh, the notations. Uh, so they they represent notation for L not the n v one is still the same. Uh, L one we change to L n and v v one here. Sorry v two here we change to v m uh, plus one. So this is how we represent our multiple stage. So after you obtain all this composition for each of the stream, inlet and outlet stream, so you need to plot in this graph. So for your lab, so you need to plot in the triangle, uh, equilateral uh, triangle diagram. So when you have this graph, you actually need to determine where is your A, where is your B, and where is your C. It is not actually the same it is depending on your graph so you need to determine what is your a b and c for example here for fur is your c what is your b and your italian glyco is sorry what is your a and the italian glyco is your b so it is dependence on your graph there's no right or wrong okay so um this is uh, after uh, having this graph so you actually you need to have this by uh, graph or by by no this one by no dear. So this is how they plot in this graph in the triangle. So after you uh, so after you you have this graph, so actually you can see there will be li uh, line. Uh, there will be compositions for extract. So that's me in this line. All this composition is for extract. On the uh, another side is your refinite. So all this uh, composition at the right side is your refinite. It is depending where is your um, C and B. This is how they read uh, the composition. For example, uh, 
uh, if the solvent stream here, uh, f uh, if it is the solvent C here, many here, so there will, there will be a extract composition here. So if your A here and B, so this is your raffinate composition. Okay, so after having this uh, composition, you need to plot in your triangle, uh, uh, need to plot in your uh, triangle uh, graph. And then you also need to plot the tie line composition. As you can remember that we have the data for the tie line composition. So you need to use this data and plot in your graph to proceed to the next step. Okay, so after uh, having all this information, so you can proceed with how to calculate the stages. So, okay, uh, so to calculate the stages, so first you need to have all the composition for all the compositions of uh, your LN, L0, V1, and also Vm plus 1. Okay, so you need to have all this composition to proceed uh, to the, the stages. And also you need to have tie line composition where this tie line is uh, connecting between your extract and your raffinate. So here for your extract is your V and your raffinate is your LN. Okay, so uh, after having this composition, uh, so for example here, we have the lime for extract and raffinate. So the next step is you are have you need to have your um okay so for example I plotting this uh, three tie line so next is your plotting uh, the composition so for for example say situ is your era and C so your compositions of that means C here, that means it's 100% of C here. So you can, uh, as you remember, so your Vm plus 1, which is the composition for your uh, fit solvent is 1, 0, 1. So I plot here. Okay, so for fit compositions, so if you can remember that there will be same fit of AC2 and water, so one, two, three, four, five here. Yeah. So you have your fit compositions of uh, a stream, mixture stream here. So your L not here. Okay, so your extract from the data for, for here. So I have extract composition 32.1 and solute uh, refinite composition five. Okay, that's me in plotting this graph the extract should be in this side. Your extract is here. Your raffinate is on the left side. So even though you don't have the value for C, you can still can plot the graph uh, as long as you have uh, your A because all your extract composition should be in this line, in this equilibrium line or binodial uh, line. It cannot be in this triangle diagram except for your Vm plus 1 because we know the compositions of A is 0 and also the L0 U, uh, it, your C composition is 0. We only have your A and B. So that's why it is in this triangle line. Okay, so your extract is, for example, I obtained 32, point, 32 I think 32, yes. So how we read is, for example, for as I AC2 here, 100%, so that's me, Zero, uh, 1, your composition is 1. So, 32.32%, 32 so that's mean 10, 20, you see the line here, and also 30. So, 32 is here. So, we, I have the extract compositions, which is your V1 here. Okay, so your LN composition 5%, right? So 5%, so it should be here. So this is your LN for raffinate composition. So after you obtain this line, so you need to uh, reconnect between this line. So we make a reference point. Where reference point can be obtained, your reference is your V1, L1, L0, and also Vm plus 1, and Ln connecting each other. That's me. I will use the ruler. 
don't know how to use the ruler. How to? Okay, it's very difficult to use the ruler. I think I just draw. So you need to connect L knots and B one. So you make a line here, and L N. L N to your. So for example, I make here the reference point. So from this reference point, so you have um, your reference here. So next we proceed with to obtain the other's composition to calculate the stages. So for example, you have the V1. Um, I'm not sure whether you are touching this line or not. I think it is touch. Okay. Touch. Okay. So V1 can be uh, L. L1 can be read from the V1 by your V1 need to have the same line with the nearest tie line. For example, the nearest tie line for V1, uh, for example, uh, your V1 is lies on your tie line. So just proceed to make a line here and so you will obtain your L1. So I don't have a very straight line so you need to try in your graph. So whether it is a touch or not depends on your graph. So from your L1, you need to make a line from your L1 to your reference point. So then how you get your V2. So after obtaining all your V2, so see the nearest tie line. So we have top tie line here and also bottom tie line. I think the nearest tie line is your bottom tie line. So make a same 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 degree of line here with your tie line so you have your l2 so l2 go to reference point so you will obtain your v3 v3 c to the nearest tie line so for example uh, for example i have the nearest tie line is the bottom tie line so we proceed with the line here so it is touch your ln so you l3 so the total stages here you can see we have v1 l1 s1 stage v2 l2 two stage and it proceed until you for example here v3 l3 i have three stage complete stage okay so if it is does not touch your ln you need to proceed until you your l you find the l touch your ln or it is higher uh, it is uh, the line is uh, more than your ln so that's me it is in front of your ln not before so this is how you calculate the stages if it is here you can need to calculate the in a point so this is your a this is your b uh, like you are drawing the graph for the your distillation I'm not sure you whether you understand this uh, step. I think uh, from the theory of the liquid liquid extraction also explaining the same things. Um, you just uh, okay if you still cannot understand uh, how I plotting this graph because I don't have the very good graph here, so it might be some error. So you can ask uh, okay anytime uh, during the working hours. Okay, I think uh, that's all. Thank you.